see the print change position and print set goes to standard position and print blink Bl set goes and blink to another position change the cursor size to underscore and then that's all over hello everyone and welcome to the new audio tutorial for the ones who excuse myself for not being present for the past months just because i had some camera issues so i could not do any work so now today what we are going to work with is this guy the lcd module lcd module is basically something that's going to help you in order to do display we have been doing our displays on the serial monitor so today we'll be using but the lcd model that is going to provide you a better and a good display so in this case we'll be using 16 times 02 model 16 because we have 16 rows here and then we have two columns oh no 16 columns and then we have two rows so here we have our lcd model but this time around most of the time we use the lcd model module with the um with the potential meter in order to make the contrast uh, but the problem there is that sometimes the contrast is not always the best and also we have to use up to up to at least five pins to be able to use and putting five pins from our Arduino is going to reduce the number of pins that we'll be working with. So we we'll use but an I2C and with the I2C instead of having instead of using 16 pins we are going to use but four pins which are here. So we are going to use them instead and then we'll be able to do the work. So here on our I2C we have the ground VCC SD and the SCL. So to, in order to do a connection, the ground goes to the Arduino ground, the VCC goes to the 5 volt, the SDA will go to the SDA fan on the um, Arduino board, or we can also put the analog 4, and the SCL goes to the ground and uh, to the SCL also on an Arduino board, or we can use the analog 5 to do it on our Arduino board. So the, for the plan of today, we'll do it basically in three steps. First of all, download the I2C library for the LCD we are going to use. Then after we download an I2C scanner for the in order to get the address of the I2, uh, that the I2C we have um, for our LCD we are going to use, and then we we'll do some tests with some LCD functions such as the LCD blink, the LCD um, print, and all of that. So let's go now for the connection. So from here we see we have fully done the connections. Our I2C also has its own 16 pins. So those 16 pins have been used uh, and together with the 16 pins of the uh, um, those 16 pin match up the 16 pins of our LCD and then it, go, it gives us a four output at the exterior. Here. So on our LCD on our I2C here we have this is a small potentiometer that is going to be used in order to regulate for the contrast of the I2C at the end. So the S, you can see the ground, that is the white conductor, it goes here to the ground. The SDA goes also to the SDA here, and then the SCL goes to the SCL here. Why? For this part, we have the VCC, um, which goes now to our 5 volt. So now, let us power it on and then we'll continue. So, as I power it on now, my USB cable, you can now see the messages are appearing. But I'm going to explain further how the different functions I've done in the code there when I'll be explaining the code. So we see here that the potentiometer here is used to regulate the contrast. See as I turn the contrast changes. As I turn again, that is it, it changes here. So you adjust it to your required contrast. So the function basically is just there to show the, a message at the beginning from the beginning here which is as you know boy then now it now changes and goes now to the second row at another position writes another message it blinks now at this position then let that blink somewhere around here and then now goes now to the underscore and then at the end it starts back so i'm going to explain it as i'm explaining the code now like this as i was basically saying when you use the i2c and the lcd module so what you need first of all is this I2C scanner and then the I2C scanner is going to help you to get the address of the device in order for you to use it now further into the other code. So as I'm doing, I'll run this code when I run it now, when I upload the code and then I open my I2C, uh, my serial monitor and then if I was if I correctly conf um, configured all the 
wires very well it's going to scan and then it's going to tell me that the address was found at this uh, this is the address which i'm going to use uh, in just a minute in order to do the rest if not it's going to give me an error that no i2c device is found so i'm going to give keep the code of i'm going to put this i2c scanner code in the description of the video so after running the previous code and obtaining the address you will now come here and then you change it mine was 0x3f the addresses may change according to your different lcds so after you have changed here all of these figures all of these parameters remain the same so here you initialize the length which is the length the width and the height of your lcd then now these are the small some small functions lcd that print it prints something on the lcd but before i continue i'm very sorry i first of all want to tell you put that you have to add the liquid crystal i2c library so in order to do that i'm going to put the link in the description of the video of of uh, how you can get the library you come here you add the library as you have been adding normally come to i think it goes to sketch include library add zip library and then you are going to find the you are going the name of it is a new crystal library in my downloads i have uh, new crystal library and then from there i've already added mine so it's going to see it's going to see it already exists this is the new crystal library we are going to add to yours so as i was saying yeah you it prints the uh, uh, the message as you know boy then now it delays for three seconds it now set the code so this is a function that is going to put it to the location where you want this location that is the second column of the first row first in this case because uh it is basically uh it start counting from zero so it is basically the third column of the the third column and then the second row so and then it prints now lcd tutorial it delays again for three seconds clears everything and now it makes the cursor to be blinking you wait for four seconds and it now set the cursor now to a different position does another blinking again and then it stops blinking with the function no blink and then now lcd cursor now i'm going to make the cursor to be under score wait for four seconds then no cursor again and then clears everything and then start back all over so now you can have more many and many functions at the uh, this uh, website you have your auto scroll blink cursor display hello world scroll serial all of that but i was just explaining those ones and then now next now we'll be now going on how we can be able to use it in order to create customized characters so i'm going to show at the end how all of this or uh, how all of these functions were working and then i'm going to now put a customized character for people to see So as I was saying, with the LCD, you can have so many. You can make your own custom characters. For example, you have a log. You have this. You have an arrow. You have the pi. You can make some nice thing like this for a battery, for example. This is simply because uh, it supports eight characters, a byte of eight characters, which can be used in order to make um, these characters. And then the arrays of the bytes are five times eight by eight, five times eight pixels. So in my own case, I'm going to use and then I'm going to create the custom character of a hat. So this is basically it. So I have my library here again. I've included, I've created my object here with the, my address here. So I now call the name byte hat. Why is that display like this? Is for you people to see a little bit how the shape of the hat is being done. So if you look carefully you can see my heart it is drawn somewhere like this like this so the bs stands for binary formatter and then now the five numbers uh the five numbers here are the number of pixels as i said it is five um, um pixels wide and then eight pixels uh of of height so i'm going to show you a little bit how i'm going to do some uh, drawing i'm going to show you on the paper at the end how uh, uh how you can easily draw yours so now um after you have created the um, i've called the, the name the name of the byte i call it hat which is going to an array of it it so this is it <coughs> after creating this um 
you have to use this function the create character function where you are going to put a number between 0 and 7 to, st to reserve it for the character you want to create and then you put the name of the character of the custom character you are creating here so now in my case i'm going to make my character to be able to loop from one side of this that is be able to move from one side of the screen to the other so that's why i'm putting inside a loop so i set my cursor the, co the place where the cursor will be changing i put the i because you'll be changing from 0 to 15 thereby moving all across the lcd and then now uh, i'll write my character to the lcd at each time wait for one second then clear again and then it's going to continue so i'm going to show also in the next video uh, in the uh, uh, in some minutes now how the thing works properly that is it the message displays wait for three seconds and now it changes the place to display the next message wait for three seconds clears everything blinks blinks under another position then now put now on the core cursor wait for four seconds and then it's going to start it back all over as i was trying to explain so the, the thing is like this five um, pixels of, of width and then eight pixels of height so basically if you want to draw your character for example from here i try to draw a hat even though i'm not a good drawer but if you look at it carefully you can have something like this which represents your heart so in writing the uh, the byte so you put here a b so I'm, I'm, i put this zero 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 because i was representing zero 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 here and then at the second b was zero 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 again zero 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 again and then on the next line i put here b zero one because each, each place where there is yeah, I've marked a square there represents a one where there is no square there uh, where there is no color it represents a zero so for the next part to be one zero one zero going on all along like that so at the end I'm going to have one two three four five six seven eight which I'm going to put now inside my byte in the case I call it my own my array of byte I call it byte um, hat I put there eight since of this will be eight of them one two three four five six up to eight so now i'm going to show you to in the video in the how my how it works so i'll approach it here and show you how it works as i said i put it in a loop so that it should be moving from space to space so you can see my heart is there moving from one corner since it's looping till the next that is basically all so i'm going to put all of the codes inside the description of the video the itc scanner the library and then my own code for the custom character so now I'm, as i'm expecting you, you all to do your own and i'm happy uh, waiting for people to show me your own videos so now i want to thank you all very all much for watching Hope to see you in the next tutorial video. Thank you very much. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed. And then put all your worries and all the comments inside the, inside the comment section for me to clarify them. See you next time.